Okay, I got a little follow-up video, uh, video here for my uh, last video on uh, radio waves and wireless electricity. Uh, here's a short clip from a documentary, uh, the Nikola Tesla BBC documentary, 18 or 1982. First, in 1893, that's two years before Marconi, Tesla demonstrated wireless. These were the circuits he showed to the National Electric Light Association in St. Louis. This is the transmitter. It's got an oscillator, earth wire, and aerial. And the signal goes from this aerial to the receiver's aerial. And that one is a mirror image of the transmitter. Aerial, earth wire, and oscillating circuit. Now, the amazing thing is that the equipment could be tuned to receive one specific frequency. Now, very new, very modern wireless sets have a little light which comes on when the set latches onto a station. Tesla worked on the same principle 90 years ago. So, when I tune this set precisely, the little light comes on. Okay. Do you see that? Yeah, the, the little light comes on when it latches on to a radio station. And all it has is an oscillator, an aerial, and earth wire. So, um, I'm going to, uh, I need to shut my computer down now. Because if I leave my computer on for my next demonstration, it actually causes interference in my stereo. Uh, the little light that goes on when it latches onto a station, for some reason, doesn't go out when my computer is running. I think it has to do with the uh, direct current fan motors that are in it, but um, okay, well I took apart a little radio here to show you the inside of it. This is the oscillator right here. It's uh, it's like when you turn it, it either tightens it or loosens it and uh, the, uh, the t I think the looser it gets, the, the lower the frequency goes and the tighter it gets the higher the frequency goes so show it I stereo see there's a little light on right here the stereo light see when it loses the station it goes out when it latches onto it it comes back on and let's see if you can Yeah, see, I can hear it getting tighter when I go to lower frequencies. I can hear it going ding, 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 ding. So the oscillator gets tightened the lower the frequency you go, and the looser it gets, the higher the frequency it turns out. Okay. So just kind of going into a little bit more detail on how I think this whole wireless transmission works. So, uh, like in that video, he would have an oscillator, an earth wire, an aerial. But I think that the earth wire and aerial, perhaps, is what gets um, hit by the Tesla coil. And I think by having the rotor moving at a certain RPM then so you would know the RPM the how many times it does one revolution um, per second or basically you know the revolutions per minute so you would know how many times that six points on the edge of this wheel would spark so I think it's like it's, it's I have to do a little bit of math work to figure this out but it you know like say 10 RPMs would spark uh, 60 sparks per minute kind of a thing so that would be uh, 60 Hertz at 10 RPMs or something like that um, I'm gonna have to work this out on some paper uh, later but uh, so basically in the oscillating circuit you have electricity that's oscillating back and forth at a certain rate and what I want, what I'm thinking is that when you get the rotary spark gapper going, 
that you want it to spark like when it, it when it when the electrodes get close to the stationary electrodes and it makes a spark and then it moves away from it and then it stops sparking you want it to you want this rotary spark gapper to be in sequence with the oscillator so like when when the radio uh, oscillator's uh, current is going back and forth you want it to spark when the current gets to each point you want it to spark here then here then here so so it's giving its power right at the peak of each wave so you're getting uh, the highest amount of discharged in the or discharged in the positive and negative current oscillations and that's what goes into the ground and up the aerial antenna and I'm pretty sure because electricity kind of travels instantaneously or at the speed of light that when you connect it to the ground wire and aerial or when you um, send the uh, sparks from the rotary gap to the ground wire and aerial the whole entire wire is electrified so the aerial is going to have the positive current coming out of the top it's kind of like what they said in that documentary that Tesla made artificial lightning at his uh, laboratory in Colorado Springs so basically that's what it would be that big aerial antenna would have big bolts of lightning coming out of the top and it would be grounded so the current would also be sending the negative current as you know the, as it oscillates the positive current would go out the top and then as it comes over here then the negative current would go through the earth you know and it would do that back and forth and you would want the rotary spark I'm pretty sure the rotary spark gapper should be sparking during each peak of oscillation and that's how you would tune it to the specific frequency to get wireless electricity but I have yet to test it because I need to get my own AM broadcasting equipment so my next video may take some time to get a demonstration going but uh, that's what I, I just wanted to post this follow-up video for that additional information that I am learning slowly but surely so stay tuned and I should have another video up sooner or later with uh, hopefully a demonstration of this wireless power Stay tuned.